right, so I just spent a little time with the brush hawk and uh, I vacated this spot a while ago, but that truck needs to come out. So now I can sneak it out back here, get it in the shop in the box. And then I cleared off this corner that I vacated. I'm doing a lot of vacating, folks. A lot of these vehicles are leaving. Just don't need them all. Anyway, vacated this spot to put the army truck and I've got some more spots once I get that truck right there out and in the shop in a box. Uh, I'll be able to clear out some more of that and organize stuff a little better. Cleared out some acreage over here and uh, now I'm gonna get back over there and you know that's how you do it. You just a little spot at a time and this all over here is getting cleared out too for a future upcoming project that I'll share with you in the springtime. But that truck's going down the road. Uh, this truck can get moved and just kind of keep consolidating and liquidating and making, making less of a mess. Yeah. I'm not with the union. <laughs> I learned the hard way. He's an yeah, I'm an independent contractor. We just get her done. That's all. Is there a spot for you to sit in there? Almost all the mics. Oh yeah, that used to be my bottle stash. Yep. We don't have to worry about that anymore, right? Mom's creeping on our container. <laughs> oh, your uh, lost velvet's back there. Yeah. All right, let's get her moved.
got a lot done. Got the Bel Air, the Cougar, the Army truck, and some more stuff moved. The cab, kind of leaf blew out there, got rid of some of the limbs. They should have no problem backing straight in there, leaving me a nice space in between them. They can just come down the driveway there, go out that way, back in that way. Yeah, this is where a place for mom is going. I'm gonna call this little box that we're putting here a place for mom because it's gonna be a spot where she can keep all the stuff she wants to store away but doesn't want cluttering her garage over here. And uh, also it gave me a good excuse to really clean up a good hunk of this area. Now I'm going over here. That's where we're going today. Gonna get Banana Rammer out of there. Get Gopher Spare somewhere more appropriate move that cub cadet by the way anyone want a cub cadet rick at classic truck rescue.com don't want it don't need it and uh i've got a six cylinder rebuilt chevy six cylinder with a turbo 350 behind it that could go in something but anyways all this is getting moved out because previously when specialist devin riley was here we moved my 83 gmc four-wheel drive out of there. And now we've got a truck under there that a guy really wants me to pull out of there and clean up so that he can threaten to buy it. Uh, be honest with you, I get a lot of people that want me to pull every truck out and, and make them a personal video of the truck. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do that because if he doesn't want it, someone else will. But this one, some people do want, and it needs to go because I have a plan. I have a plan. We're gonna pull that out, clean it up, and uh, we'll do a walk around on it. Heck, maybe I'll fire it up. Uh, don't know if I'm going to do that though because uh, I have film of it running and everything and It just needs to go because something else is, you know. Anyway, get this area cleaned out today. We'll get the mom's box over here, a place for mom over here. And uh, I'll show it getting loaded up. And it, and it looks really bad right now. It needs pressure wash. Been sitting a long time. Uh, but we'll take care of that because pressure wash is right there. Hook them up, so right there. It'll be right there. Pressure wash. Mm -hmm. I was going to put the box right there, but then I thought, that's two walls being wasted. Put it over here a little bit. Have this spot right here. Park Yunkin, the Husky, if they ever get it running and I get it back from warranty work. And Thumper, Thumper could go under there. Little cover over the top, keep everything dry. Yeah, learning how to utilize space and organize it. I'll get this stuff out, it's going. It is cold today, really cold and that's really affects the broken little parts in my back when it's cold, but it is dry cold uh, and the sky is a beautiful thing today. So I can work, I can work in this all day long, literally work till about, I don't know, dark 30 last night. Uh, but we got everything ready to get this thing over today and uh, looking forward to getting this done and clearing this area out.
I've got five rigs listed right now. Stuff's going bye-bye, folks. Gonna make it happen, 2022. on a stick that's what I need right now I need this ladder don't get old by the way do not get old it just makes it harder to do stuff oh boy I think he can get through here That's the one I'm worried about. I need one of those chainsaws on a stick. Cause I could, let's see how high I can get here. I don't really like doing acrobatics while I'm holding on to a chainsaw these days. I think this, this will be okay for over here. That's what I think. Just maybe try to lop that off. I'll lop that one off. I'll hand that one and lop that and that. All right. All righty. Yep.
boy. That thing did not want to come off of there. No, it did not. Oh boy. So it was just barely hanging on to maybe not. Maybe not. Oh. <sighs> yeah, we've been driving by this since the ice storm. It's been hanging right over where you drive. It's required quite a bit of effort, but we're tired of driving under that tree and uh wondering if it's gonna fall on us because it, it literally swayed in the wind and that's a pretty significant branch uh, and I'm glad to have it out of the way I'll put it right there that's natural fencing uh, but I'm glad to have it out of the way because it's a straight shot up and down the driveway now if you're bringing something wide in got it all cleared out and uh, nothing will be rubbing on gophers roof and the box, the place for mom, will be unmolested coming in. I'll get my gloves on, go down there, clean up all the debris, put a little more gravel over there, put a little more gravel in a couple other spots. I'll be back.